Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to install Sidekick 365 DCM, our new app, into SharePoint Online from the Office Store up in the Microsoft uh, Marketplace. So let's get started. What you want to do is pick a site within your site collection where you want to install the app. So here's a very simple site that I've created called Sidekick and I just go up to the gear here on the top right and select add an app. Now what that'll do is it lets me see different apps that I can add. So if I've already downloaded it before it would show up here. Let's say I had DCM I want to install in multiple sites. But in this case I know that I have not yet downloaded it from the store so I'm going to go to the store to go get it. It's very simple. I just click on the SharePoint store link and there's different categories here on the left side of different types of solutions that are available as apps for SharePoint. But I know ours has been posted recently, so I'm just going to select the newest link here. And what I'll see is our icon for the app. And I'm just going to click on it. Now when I do that, I have the option to see more information about the app, which I have here. And I said, yep, this is the one I want, so rather than buy it today, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So I just select Try, and what it'll do is it'll install it into the tenant for me, and then it'll make it available so I can install it into the site. So it's just doing that now. Now what's, what's great is it knew I came from the site called Sidekick. So I'm going to go ahead and add that app to my site and just hit Return to Site. And I want to trust this. I can look at terms and conditions, etc. But let's go ahead and say trust it. And that's all you have to do. You'll see in just a moment that the app is now installing. It'll take a minute here. Um, it takes generally around 30 seconds to a minute to do the install from the store that Microsoft runs into your tenant in Office 365. And that's it. It's done and ready to go. So let's take a look at how that looks. All we have to do now is you'll see it listed here underneath the recent ads. It's underneath site contents. I can add it to my menu. There's lots of things we can do with it, but this is how it comes installed sort of out of the box. And when I click on it, you will see that the app is now ready to go. It's been instantiated. Uh, it's just initializing the very first time. And now I want to create a new case. I go ahead and do that and I'll call it case one. And we'll just give it one and it was open today. And that's all there is to it. So now I have the app installed into my environment. I can have uh, cases that I've got in the system right now. I didn't assign to anyone, so I'll just see this one unassigned. And I'll see that brand new case that I just added to the system. And here it comes. And then from here I can go ahead and add more cases, etc. Right. So uh, that's a very simple overview of how the app can be added into a uh, tenant. Now what if I want to do some administration on it? How would I go ahead and do things like remove it? Okay, let's go back out to the site. And all we have to do is just go into site contents. So there's our site contents there. And if I want to, I can just click here and the three ellipses here to remove it. And that will remove it from my site. But there's more to it than that. So let's say I wanted to add it back in. Now it's removed. And we'll go back out here to home. And let's say I wanted to do an add an app. And if you recall, remember that I had added it to our tenant. So there it is. I could add it back into the site. But let's say I wanted to get rid of it completely from my tenancy in Office 365. So what I do for that is I just come up here to admin and I go to SharePoint. And you have to be the site collection admin and the, the tenant admin to do this. But now we come on to apps and I go into my manage licenses for my apps. And you'll see I have right here the trial license that's been downloaded for all my different site collections in the tenant. And if I select manage license and my actions I can remove that license. And when I do that, now I've removed Sidekick 365 DCM from the tenancy completely. 
And if I come back into different sites that I have, we'll just wait a minute here. And I'll go back into that Sidekick site and try and add it in. You'll see that it's now gone from the environment. I'll take just a second here. And I'll go into Sidekick. And again, it's a brand new tenancy, so everything's just very sort of out of the box. And now when I come into my gear and I say that I want to add an app, you'll see that Sidekick's no longer listed. And the only way for me to get it is go back to the store. And I can do that. It's very simple. I'll just repeat what I did earlier. I'll go to the store. I'll go to the newest. And I will select the DCM app again and try it. And it starts the cycle over. It'll reinstall it into the environment. I'll return to my site. I'll trust it. And we'll see that it's now setting it back up again into the, the site that I called Sidekick. You can call it whatever you want. We'll wait for it to finish. It's just about done. And when it's completed, I'll then go look and see if the app has been reinstalled. But what you'll notice is all the data I put in that one case, that case will now be gone because it deleted all the old data along with the app. So now it's ready to go. I come into the site homepage. I select the app link. There we go. It'll come up here in a minute. It'll instantiate again, initialize for the first time. And we're ready to go. And if I select cases, there won't be any cases in it because it wiped everything out when I deleted it last time. And it's just ready for me to install again. So that's a real quick overview of how you can go in and install an app from the Marketplace, our app, and the steps involved in deleting it as well, and then reinstalling. So again, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems. I'm talking about Sidekick 365 DCM. And if you have any questions, go ahead and just email us at info at skylightsystems.com. And that's S-K-Y-L-I-T-E-S-Y-S-T-E-M-S dot com. Thanks again.